time for this week's Pets on Set. And uh, Nancy Orr from the Canyon County Animal Shelter is joining us this morning. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks Good morning. for having us. And this is Ford. It's your time to shine. What can you tell us about him? Ford is a seven-year-old red bone coonhound mix. He came into the shelter as a stray, so we don't have a whole lot of history on him. He's pretty mellow like a hound dog can yeah. be, an older hound dog. Very patriotic um, really, Yeah, well. he's very patriotic. <laughs> yeah, walks down. nicely on a leash. Should be good for just about any little more easygoing household. Household that isn't looking for a dog to go running with every day. Yeah. Um, probably be good with other, he's just good with other dogs there at the shelter. I don't know how he is with cats. How, how much does he weigh? He's obviously a pretty big guy. He weighs about 85 pounds right now. So, so you, you know, the responsibility that comes with the big dogs as well. Right. You just gotta be aware and everything. And if we can get a shot of his paws too, his paws <laughs> are just so big. I love them though, because I mean, he's, He's a, a beautiful looking dog and everything, but he uh, really is. Got to remember that you know he's, he's going to weigh a lot. You know, <laughs> not not a, not a little dog. Right. Right. And then, um, so as far as a good home, you said he'd be great with families. Maybe a, a just maybe an older couple. He also qualifies for a program, Seniors for Seniors. So if you're over 60 and any dog that's seven or older, that's a free adoption fee. And he's right. already neutered, microchip. He's ready to go. And so if you are at home, if you're a senior, maybe looking for some companionship, mm -hmm. then hey, this could be the perfect way to go. And he definitely seems like he will be a good companion. Just he is a I mean, really the way good companion. He's been sitting here for the yeah. last couple minutes. You know? Definitely. You no, know, there's a lot of stuff going on as well at the shelter. Uh, in addition to, of course, the adoptions, and we do want Ford to be adopted as soon as possible. Um, Dr. K, our visiting vet, was talking about Fourth of July safety, uh, keeping your pets indoors, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And just remind people again, as far as the day after Fourth of July, is there a time limit if their pet gets out? Is there a time limit as to how soon people need to come looking for their lost animals? Sooner the better. I mean, dogs get really stressed out being in the shelter environment. The sooner you can start putting up signs looking for your dogs, make sure your dog is microchipped. Um, <laughs> Make sure your dog has tags on with current information on it. We get a lot of dogs with microchips and tags and everything's expired. No good mm. phone numbers on them. Um, make sure you protect your dog. Keep your dog in the house. Keep your dog with a radio or a TV on. Don't take your dog to the fireworks shows with you. And you had mentioned if they don't have any form of identification and they show up in the pound, uh, how long? I mean, it's, it's just a, a couple days before they could maybe we be We hold our dog for five business oh, days. Oh, it will be five business yeah, days. Yeah, and weeks, we are open seven days okay. a week, so if you lose your dog, Tomorrow morning even. Come on in, we open up at 10. So we are open 4th of July. But make sure you do go back there if your dog gets out. We hope your dog won't get out in the first place. Right, but and if don't just. Does, yeah, make sure you check the yeah. shelters. Yeah, and don't just check one shelter. Sometimes dogs end up at other shelters. Yeah. <laughs> so even if you live in Canyon County, check Idaho Humane Society, mm -hmm. Meridian Shelter, and vice versa. If you live in Boise, check our shelter too. You never know how far a dog can run if they're scared. And then next week is National Ice Cream Week. Yes, yes. <laughs> We're having how does half, that tie <laughs> half price adoptions. Um, so all of our dogs, the 13th and the 14th, will be half price six, uh, six months and over, and our cats too. Um, and we're still doing better with a buddy with cats. So if you adopt 13th and 14th, you also get a coupon for a free ice cream at Dairy Queen. There's the tie-in right there. Yep, so lots of incentives, it. of course, and you don't need much more of an incentive. No, we need to get Ford right here, do you? Yeah. No, nope, he's a nice boy. But should you want any, yeah, some ice cream certificates there from Dairy Queen. So, Canyon County Animal Shelter, seven days a week, they're open. You can also call the number that we put up there on your screen. Thanks so much for bringing Ford in Thank this morning. Thank you for having Nancy. us. We appreciate